The trial of the man accused of killing American sniper Chris Kyle ends after three hours of jury deliberations. Good morning, I'm Miranda Kahn, and this is your Newsmax Now update. We, the jury, find the defendant Eddie Ray Routh guilty of the felony offense of capital murder as charged. Routh killed Kyle and Chad Littlefield while on a trip to a Texas shooting range two years ago. A court sentenced him to life behind bars. Littlefield's mother spoke just after hearing the verdict. We've waited two years for God to, to get justice for us on behalf of our son. And as always, God has proved to be faithful. Rouse lawyers had argued that he was experiencing a psychotic episode at the time of the shooting. They promised to appeal that verdict. The Federal Communications Commission appears to be on the verge of putting new regulations on Internet service providers. In a vote set for Thursday, the FCC is expected to regulate Internet companies like other utilities that would stop companies like Comcast and Time Warner from charging extra for so-called internet fast lanes, but critics say new regulations will stifle innovation. Hillary Clinton is starting to sound more and more like a presidential candidate. Her first speech of the year was yesterday at a Silicon Valley women's conference. Up and down the ladder, many women are paid less for the same work, which is why I think we all cheered at Patricia our cat's speech at the Oscars because she's right. It's time to have wage equality once and for all. Clinton also chided the tech industry for the lack of women. Meanwhile, supporters for former HP CEO Carly Fiorino launch a new super PAC to build support for a possible presidential run. She's set to speak tomorrow at the Conservative Political Action Conference. The investigation continues in today into the crash between a truck and a train in California that left dozens hurt. The National Transportation Safety Board now says the driver of the truck apparently made a turn and started to drive down the tracks before stopping. Early reports said the truck was stuck. Officials now say that was not the case. 28 people were injured, four of them critically. And 15 people are hurt. Take a look at this. After a house near the Jersey Shore explodes, it happened yesterday while utility workers were looking for the source of a reported gas leak. As they were searching, the house, as you just saw, blew up. It was completely destroyed. And trouble in the skies for Southwest. Nearly 130 planes, about a fifth of its fleet, are now grounded. The airline apparently was letting the planes fly without the required inspection needed. That was your latest Newsmax Now update. More coming your way in a half hour.